Hi, it's Bob Powers, and today here I'm going to try and correct a problem with a pair of shoes I have. These are a pair of uh, floor shimes. Um, I think they call this the Castellana Wing Ox. These sho shoes are a little over two years old. I've worn them a lot. I wear them, a, you know, once or twice a week. Um, love these shoes um, for the price. They're $130 retail list price shoe. It says they're made of full grain leather. Watch my other videos if you don't know what that means, but that's good. It looks like they are Goodyear welted, but I don't think they are. Um, anyway, the problem with these shoes, you can see I put a lot of coats of clear polish. Um, hopefully you can see here, though, if you go zoom in right in, you see the cracking there? And you see here, if I just take my fingernail, do you see what's happening? Okay. This brown part is called burnishing. Now, this shoe came this way. When, I, I, and I, when you purchase a shoe, it's not this shiny, but my point is the burnishing, the brown burnishing, they just basically painted on, I believe, is actually coming off. Now, I've been polishing them and polishing them with brown shoe polish, but now it's getting to the point where it's just, it's just coming off, okay? So, I haven't touched this shoe yet. This one I have prepped. So what I did was, uh, with this shoe, okay, you can zoom in on, if you can zoom in on the shoe here. Okay, go ahead, zoom in on the shoe. The first thing I did was I used this Saphir Renault mat. Okay, this stuff is horribly stinky. This stuff has got to gotta work well for it because it usually, the stinkier the chemicals are, the better they work. Um, it's half a joke, but if you want to come back down here. So, you can tell I stripped off all the wax as best as I could from the wingtip here. I tried to go, you know, back to about here. So I stripped off all the wax using that. I used a, a you know, just a, 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 hor a harsh, uh, like a stiff cloth, some water, and then I used that again until, you know, it quit picking up a lot of brown. So now I've got that. And if you want to zoom back in on the equipment, this is an old fashioned airbrush. This airbrush, um, this is a Binks, I believe it is. It's got a little glass jar. You see the straw, that's not a straw, but the tube. Um, and what I've got now, this is Feebings, F-I-E-B-I-N-G-S, Feebings Leather Dye. Okay, this is a dark brown. Now, the Feebings Leather Dye, and, and by the way, this is just, I've painted cars before. This is just going on gut instinct, so I don't know if this is uh, this is going to work or not. I have absolutely no idea. I'm sure some shoe professionals are going to point out 4,000 4, things that I'm doing wrong, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Um, so this is approximately one part, the Feebings Leather Dye, um, and then I used Reducer, um, you know, which is alcohol reducer from when I've painted cars before. I did approximately four to one. I have no clue whatsoever if it's going to be the right ratio, okay? So the first thing that happens is this closes. Can you see the needle and seat in there? Okay. And it's connected, by the way. Do you see this? Can you zoom down on a little compressor? Okay. And let's get it started up. Okay. Now, if you can see my hand here, right? This is closed. Can you see it makes an indentation on my hand? It is blowing air. So watch. I'm going to spray and open up the valve. Ah, there we go. All right, now let's see what happens. You see, I got it all taped off, right? Stinky. And um, there's no paint coming out right now. I'm just using this to kind of dry the alcohol. Okay. And there's still maybe wax on there. I don't know. How about we let that dry and we'll start the tape back up. Okay, um, I think I learned something here. I don't think I got all the wax off of this shoe. It doesn't look bad. Do you see the, the burnishing is back on there? Uh, this is the other shoe. I went ahead and stripped the wax off and I tried to do um, be more diligent about getting all the wax off, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, this so far has like two to three, I'd say three coats on it. 
Um, and I'm going to do one more. Let's see how this goes. Let me get the compressor fired back up here. Hold on. You can zoom in if you want, okay? Come on. See, I still think, I still think there's some wax right there. Let's see how this one goes. Maybe I diluted down the, uh, the mixture too much, but I know from past experience it's better to have a paint mixture too diluted uh, than too thick. If it's too thick, it won't spray. If it's too diluted, you just have to put on more coats. It just makes more work, and I'm okay with that. You see there where there's some shiny spots? I think I think that might be where, well, it's evaporating. Might be where all the wax didn't come off. I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to keep doing a few more coats, and I'm, my hands are getting disgusting here. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, well. Um, I'll show you the final product. You can go ahead and cut it. Now, as you can see, I have finished them. Put multiple coats on, probably five or six coats. And you can see there's kind of a sheen here. I'm not sure what that is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and polish them up. And then we'll see how they look. And we'll go from there. Okay? And now here they are. I just have one coat. I actually just used black. I went ahead and used black. Um, you can use different color shoe polish on shoes. But obviously the, the color is going to tint the shoe. Um, so black doesn't turn it black. It's just going to tint it darker. Which is I really wanted more distinction. And you can see there, maybe I need, didn't do a good job right there fading it. The, the, that line is a little harsh. But this is just one coat and brushed with, brushed with a horsehair brush. Um, I have not put any clear on them yet, but I think it actually looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the spit shine. So I'm going to go put a few coats of clear sapphire on it, and then we'll see what it looks like. And here is the finished result. This is about five to six coats of the neutral. And here is the sapphire. Uh, you can see it's neutral, so there's no color in it. And uh, this is the pate deluxe. So this is a, you know, paste wax. Uh, the first coat that I showed you I did was with the black um, sapphire. This is a cream polish, okay? Um, it's very soft if you look at it. This is difficult to do one handed, but if you were to, you know, dab your, you know, finger or, or whatever in it, it's, it's very soft. Um, but I found out after purchasing um, this that there actually is one better than this for spit shining toe caps, and it's a sapphire. It's the same kind of comes in a can, um, uh, you know, paste wax, uh, but it's actually called a Medal Dior Mirror Gloss. Medal Dior Mirror Gloss. But let's let's show you the result. You can see all the, the pores are filled in very nicely. And the color, I'm really pleased with the way the color came out. Um, the color is nice, gradual. I think there's more of a gradual change from the tip, you know, to the tan. And I also think the tip of the toe is darker than it was from the factory. Um, it's nice, gradual. Uh, I'm extremely pleased with the way this came out. The final test will be to see how it actually holds up. I don't believe it's going to flake off like it was before. Um, but I will update you on that if it does. But there we go. So um, that worked. And that was using my father's Binks airbrush.
um, that was using the Phoebings. The dye itself was a Phoebings leather dye, and I did about one part uh, the alcohol, um, and I will I'll also put in the description there exactly what kind of alcohol it, alcohol it was, unless I can uh, find it where I put it. I'll put in the description uh, about four parts alcohol to one part of the dye, um, airbrushed on. I put about seven or eight coats on. It took a lot to penetrate, so. I think the key on this, by the way, is getting all of the wax off. I think that's a key. The first time, I don't think I really got it off well enough. I think it's even okay. The one of the shoes, I did even use sandpaper. I used like a 600, very, very, very light. You don't want to gouge it like in a 600, 800 grit sandpaper. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, but by the way, the probably the final lesson that I didn't mention from this is, this is why, uh, one of the reasons why when you buy a you know, three or four hundred dollar, five hundred dollar shoe, you shouldn't have to, you know, mess with stuff like this, okay? So, um, you know, this is one of the things that are, you know, the negatives that are going to happen when you buy a cheap shoe. So, if you notice, this is all a hand done procedure. Well, when you buy a, you know, like an uh, Allen Edmonds shoe or a, you know, Meslon shoe or, you know, there's a, you know, bunch of shoe brands that, you know, I've never owned out there even higher than that. But when you buy three, four, five hundred dollar shoe, they're going to do this hand done process on the shoe from the factory and you're going to get a much higher quality. So anyway, hope that helped. Hope you liked it.